What's going on, IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about the effects on your metabolism when intermittent fasting. What is up, everybody? I've always touched on this many, many times in all of my previous videos, but I've never fully focused 100% of all my energy explaining the metabolism myth. And yes, that is what it is. It is a myth or a product of misleading the consumer. And I say consumer because this is basically driven, the whole misleading part is driven by the companies that want to sell you a specific product that has to do with eating multiple times or forcing to understand that a normal lifestyle is going to be very difficult to create all these meals so they have meal replacements that you're going to most likely buy if you're trying to do that multiple meal a day kind of thing to keep your whole metabolism running the thing that's a slightly annoying about the whole metabolism thing is that even if i look into my comments now recent comments will come in saying yeah but you know you want it, you don't want to slow your metabolism down so make sure you know you get a lot of meals in and yeah intermittent fasting does a lot of good things but what about your metabolism it's just going to slow down it's just going to you know you're not going to be able to lose the weight because your body's going to go into starvation mode i don't want to say it's annoying but it's just very lazy because if you were to do any research on the topic, for example, the research, the furthest back you can go in which they did an extensive study that debunked it was 1997. And from 1997, people are still pushing this whole metabolism thing. Um, you have to understand, I can break it down for you in a very scientific way if you want me to. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give you, give you some science behind the studies that were done. There's a thing called the TEF, right? The TEF is the thermic effect of food. So what that is, is that it takes energy to absorb energy. So for you to eat, it takes energy. So energy will increase. Your metabolism will increase when you eat. That is true. It isn't false that your metabolism increases when you eat. But the thing is, right after you finish eating, it goes right back to normal. It doesn't speed up. It doesn't stay in a heightened state. It just speeds up for the moment of eating and then goes right back to normal. So you are always canceling yourself out whenever you're eating. So it doesn't matter that your metabolism goes faster at the moment that you eat. It's all proportional. It's all proportional. So if you were to eat one big meal, your metabolism will increase the moment you eat that big meal and then it will decrease when you stop eating. If you were to eat six meals, every time you eat, your metabolism will increase and then instantly stop and taper back down right after you finish eating that meal, even if it, if it was if it's every three hours. It, for you to keep your metabolism constantly going at a high rate, you would have to eat every single second of the day. And if you're eating every single second of the day, then you are canceling yourself off to losing weight anyways. So it, it's, it's a misled information. Yes, with that information, it is true. I can look at you in the camera. I can be a company. I can be a, a doctor. I can be anyone with an agenda and look at you and say, if you eat more, your metabolism will increase. And I will not be lying to you. But what, what I'm misrepresenting is that information's context and letting you believe that because of the fact that it will speed you your metabolism up, you're going to miss take that information and think, oh, this is speeding my metabolism up permanently or it's speeding my metabolism up in a long time frame. They can, they can omit that. They can omit that information. It's fine because all they're trying to do is to get you to buy a specific product. So they're not going to stop the whole myth of eating constantly. I'm about to blow your mind when it comes to intermittent fasting. A lot of people say, yeah, but intermittent fasting is not the best. Intermittent fasting is not the best. And I always say intermittent fasting for weight loss is the gold standard. It's the gold standard. Here's one quick thing. Did you know that when you reach around 36 to about 48 hours of fasting, did you know that your <clears throat> metabolism without food, without food, increases 
3.6 to about 10 to 12 percent boom that is without eating a short burst of a fast that goes about 36 to 48 hours that actually increases your metabolism and the reason that is increased is because your adrenaline and your noradrenaline has heightened because you are now in survival mode but people like to use these words like oh but i don't want to be in survival mode i, I don't want to i don't want to have to survive like shut up shut up that was survival mode for back in the days okay that was sur survival mode for back in the day stop trying to use words at, and fear monger with certain words to get people to stop doing intermittent fasting your body is in a survival mode it's basically saying we're going to prepare your body to find food kill food eat food so let's increase your metabolism because your adrenaline starts kicking you're in a heightened state of movement and that's the reason your adrenaline starts kicking is there a period however of fasting where your metabolism does finally start dropping off and yes there is after 60 hours of fasting about 60 to about 65 hours if you are still fasted and have not consumed any energies just calories it will start to go down your metabolism will start to decrease at a normal clip minus four percent minus eight percent but people who do intermittent fasting don't go that far people who go do intermittent fasting do not go 60 hours so that's the reason they, they can look at you in the face and tell you if you fast your metabolism will slow down because they don't exactly give you all the information so they take it out of context and then i have people telling me why do you do intermittent fasting why are you telling people to slow their metabolism down i'm telling people to do the complete opposite where you can speed up your metabolism without having to consume calories at the same time the calorie and the metabolism speeding up if you eat all these meals all the time are canceling each other out you're speeding up your metabolism so you can burn calories fast right but guess what you're adding calories at the same time so boom blockage there's nothing that's happening here you're basically using that system and this system is canceling that other system out that's what's happening that's what's happening so speeding up your metabolism for the moment that you're eating does nothing it does nothing it is not something that is a viable way to lose weight now if it could have sped up your metabolism if your body had that sophistication where you ate all the time and it's just a constant sped metabolism, then it makes sense. Unfortunately, for the people who do this six meals a day thing, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but you're not being effective. All you're doing is speeding it up for the moment that you're eating and then it slows down. It'll speed up when you do intermittent fasting the moment that you eat, then it'll slow right back down to the normal, the more normal speed. The TEF is is the TEF is straight up science. It's straight up science. You don't want you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to the next guy. You don't have to listen to the other guy. I am basically telling you straight up science. It's not going to work the way you think it's going to work. So hopefully I can put that whole metabolism slowing down system happening when it comes to intermittent fasting hopefully i can put that to rest because i really don't want to continue to talk about something that was debunked back in 1997 but continues to get pushed by people who are bigger or or strong like i love how you go to the gym and because somebody is really strong and they tell you hey you know uh i could i could curl i could curl hundreds i could curl 100 uh pounds by in one hand so you know I'm, as i'm curling this 100 pound in one hand i'm telling you that you need to eat six meals a day and if you don't do it you're not going to gain the weight that you need and it's like oh my goodness i have to listen to this person because he's super brolic and i'm not so there's he has to know no there's different body types and people can make it to certain levels way faster than you regardless if they're doing things right or wrong it has nothing to do with the actual science or with the actual information or the truth of the matter when it comes to fasting, when it comes to metabolism, when it comes to eating. But people keep pushing it so that propaganda still floats around and it's actually still very strong no matter how many studies come out debunking it because there's always going to be these doctors and there's always going to be these people that are pushing specific agendas that are going to continue to push for you to eat every three hours.
Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you have any other questions to any other videos that I've had in the past, I have one here, and I also have one here. And of course, please subscribe. I would gladly appreciate it. See you next time. Have a great one, IF Warriors. Description so you can go to it directly. Uh, let me just take a look here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> take a look here. All right, so it's the transitional medicine dot biomedcentral.com so there was a study that was done in March this study however was published in October um, but this study is very very promising for the the new newly found information that it's backing the what intermittent fasting has stood for you only consume water it is recommended that you do about three liters for women about 2.5 liters per day um, if you were to do a water fast what what are my thoughts on water fasting though I think is interesting um, have I done somewhat of water fasting